we have a completed in the previous class read and respond and think and write the two sessions of three L's of empowerment by Christine Lecart. I hope you may be having textbook with you. And in the previous class, we discussed and we have systematically written down the notes of read and respond questions and answers and think and write questions and answers. So in this session, we are going to analyze the important textual activities, okay, the important textual activities of your textbook, page 11. So if you have a textbook or the copy of the textbook, page number 11, activity 1, speech. So the first one, the three years of empowerment by Christine Lagarde is a speech. And we are going to analyze important speeches, inspiring and more speeches. So while going this activity, you will get uh, more knowledge about uh, the world famous speeches and speakers universally acclaimed speeches and speakers on page number on page 11 of your textbook there is actually a very motivating and inspiring speech delivered by martin luther king jr martin luther king jr so I will go for reading, then we will analyze the important questions given in the activity page. Martin Luther King Jr. was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 1964, had the ability to tailor his speaking style to suit to the audience. You see, apart from visual representations, we are having audio, means auditory effect. A speaker should have magical powers in order to suit, attract the audience. Try to understand the difference between spectators, audience, spectators. So remember this is very important when you analyze these two terms. Audience are mainly gathered in order to listen to someone, to something delivered by a narrator or a speaker. That is why we called such a group of people as audience. So audience are mainly coming or gathered over a particular place in order to listen to what the speaker or the orator speaks. So where visual representation is very less. Audience means audio, sound. Listening to the sound or listening to what the speaker is speaking to the group of people. That is audience. But spectators are a group of so spectators uh, are a group of people who are coming to watch the visual side. Spectacles means we know this is a spectacle. Spectacle we are using in order to improve our visual representations. So spectators are mainly coming to watch and see 
a performance materialist on a stage so even spectators will also listen to the sound but they are giving more importance only to the visual side of the performance so that is why audience and spectators spectators are mainly concentrating upon the visual side of a performance while audience are giving more importance to the auditory deliverance of something especially speeches that is why on page number 11 of your textbook uh, we are having some examples of uh, inspiring and persuasive motivating speech delivered by the famous orators orators means prasangika they are not uh, uh, nationally acclaimed they are universally globally internationally acclaimed rajyantra behmati nediya chila prasangikarude prasangirde prasangangal so one example is given in your textbook is uh, martin luther king junior so he was awarded the nobel prize in 1964 had the ability to tailor tailor means uh, attract the attention of the audience since it is a speech we are attracting the attention of the speakers that is why audience tailor the speaking style to adjust the speaking style to suit uh, to be in accordance with the audience i have a dream actually this is a speech i have a dream enikkoru sapnam undu enikkoru sapnam undu that is the title of the speech delivered by martin luther king jr is a speech delivered by martin luther king jr on 20th august 1963 to tens of thousands of black americans actually he delivered the speech to tens of thousands of black americans and others who assembled at washington who assembled at washington that is why here we are coming to know about i'm just reading the speech as given in your textbook let us see how this speech is persuasive inspiring and motivating speech delivered by martin luther king jr <coughs> four score years ago very important one please try to know four score years ago years ago so four score years ago very important try to understand four score years ago it may be a difficult for you to analyze what is the meaning of a score we know 4 is a number in mathematics we will write to 4 what is score score is a number of 20 20 score means it refers to a number 20 4 into 20 4 into 20 so score yes c o r e score refers to a number 20 apo 4 into 20 80 4 into 20 is 80 80 years ago that is why four score years ago four score years ago means 80 years ago 4 into 2 8 plus 0 80 so four score years ago i am reading the speech please listen very carefully 
four score years ago a great american in whole symbolic shadow we stand signed the emancipation proclamation to sign the emancipation proclamation emancipation here means uh, liberation freedom proclamation 100 years later after 100 years the life of the negro is still sadly crippled the condition of negroes is very bad by the menaches of a segregation and the chains of discrimination 100 years later the negro lives on a lonely island of uh, poverty in the midst of the vast ocean of material prosperity we have come here today to dramatize an appalling condition actually the speech is mainly talking about the liberation or independence of the negroes we have come to the whole of the sport an unimportant location to remind america of the urgency urgency of now now is the time to make real the promises of democracy what is democracy democracy is a government of the people for the people and by the people democracy means it is a government or a rule of the people for the people and by the people that is democracy now is the time to rise from the dark and the desolate to valley of segregation negroes were separated from the main social strata they were considered as vulgar and inferior category of people to the sun lit to path of racial justice so there should be a racial justice there shouldn't be any kind of a difference between black people and white people i have a dream today again you martin luther king junior is telling i have a dream today i have a dream that one day every valley shall be exalted and every hill and mountain shall be made low the rough places will be made plain and the crooked places will be made straight and the glory of the lord shall be revealed and all flesh shall see it together this is our hope and this is the faith that i go back to the south with so this is the short the bitter version of martin luther king junior's speech mainly talking or focusing upon the emancipation of negroes and racial justice should be there all should be made equal everybody should live in a democratic world that means all are equal everybody should be entertain equal rights among themselves that is what here we are coming to know about it is a very motivating and inspiring speech very motivating and inspiring speech so i have a dream motivating persuasive interesting and uh, inspirational speech so we will go to yet another speech that is uh, delivered by mark antony on page number 12 so the oration oration means a uh, persuasive speech of mark antony mark antony is a boon companion intimate friend of julius caesar in shakespeare's julius is a full fledged two and and a half hours drama He is an often quoted declamation. It is often quoted in different situations about the speech. Declamation means speech. It is a typical example of a, a 
persuades you, inspiring and getting the support of the whole audience. Persuasive speech that uh, sparked the conflagration for change in the minds of the audience. So after having heard this uh, persuasive speech of uh, Mark Antony in William Shakespeare's uh, drama Julius Caesar, almost all the audience made a different attitude. There was a change in the mind of the audience uh, and they favored the king Julius Caesar and uh, worked against the conspirators who stabbed Julius Caesar into death, who murdered Julius Caesar. So I am going for just reading that speech, very inspiring and persuasive, how the attitude of the Romans were changed. Listen to the speech. Then we will come to the questions and answers in the activity space. I come to bury Caesar, not to praise him. Mark Antony is telling that it is an edited version. So, original version is there in the play of Julius Caesar written by William Shakespeare. So, Mark Antony, very important means a very intimate friend of Julius Caesar is telling, I came to bury Caesar. I came to bury Caesar. Caesar in the Shavasharidam Adakam Chiyuvanana. Not to praise him. Julius Caesar in the Prasham Sikhuanana. That is what he is speaking to the audience gathered there. He will tetical take the Tundangal Avan Marichadri Shesho Avan the tetical Jeevi Chitiki. And the evil that men do lives after them. After, they, after their death, those evils are living in the air. He was my friend. Faithful and just to me. Yes, Julius Caesar was a very great, important friend of me. Was a very great, important friend of me. And he was a faithful friend. And a just. And he was a faithful friend. And a just friend. A true friend. But Brutus says. Brutus is one of the conspirators. He sees a Kuluanaita, Kediyuruki Pradhanical Ludibanaidu Brutus. So Mark Antony is telling Brutus says he was ambitious. Brutus says that Julius Caesar was ambitious, one of the reasons for murdering Julius Caesar. And Brutus is an honorable man. By the time Brutus says that Brutus is an honorable man. When, when that the poor have cried, you see. So when Julius Caesar was the emperor, when the poor cried, Caesar had this wept. Pavapatta Manishir Kareem Bodh. Another Chakravarti and the Caesar of the Nikaranjata. When the poor have cried, Caesar had this wet. Ambition should be made of a sterner staff. So, is it really uh, Brutus says that Julius Caesar was ambitious? Then some lines are edited. Then very important lines of the speech. You all did see that. It's a place where coronation of an emperor is going on. You all did see, I thrice presented him a kingly crown. Julius Caesar and thrice moved the Pravashim Dajavinte, Allegal Chakravarti and Kiridam Kurta Samayata, which he did thrice refuse. Moon Samay Madegam Parnu Yeniku Chakravarti Maganda Chakravarti and Kirido Merikiveta. Was this ambition? Idano Brutus of Paranja the Bola Julius Caesar, Yella, Betty Pritchakanam, an ambitious leader, right? Another because three times he was offered, presented the kingly crown, be the crown, try to wear the crown of a king, and three times he refused. Then Mark Antony is asking the audience, Was this ambitious? Was this uh, ambitious or was Julius Caesar ambitious? Yet, 
എന്നിരുന്നിട്ട് പോലും ബ്രൂട്ടസ് സൈസ് ഹി വാസ് അംബീഷ്യസ് ബ്രൂട്ടസ് സൈസ് ജൂലിയസ് സീസർ വാസ് അംബീഷ്യസ് ആൻഡ് ഷുവർ ഹി ഇസ് ആൻ ഓണറബിൾ മാൻ ആൻഡ് ഹി സെയ്സ് ദാറ്റ് ഹി ഇസ് ആൻ ഓണറബിൾ മാൻ യു സീ ഹിയർ മൈ ഡിയർ സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് ദ സ്പീച്ച് two important speeches we have come across in the first activity of three years of empowerment regarding motivating interesting inspiring and persuasive speeches of uh, martin luther king junior and uh, mark cantonese's uh, off court declamation from the play julius caesar written by william shakespeare now while going through or reading through the two important speeches what are the techniques applied here for constructing a speech because preparing a speech is very important sure question in your uh, both the plus 1 and plus 2 examination okay so when you go for composing the script of a speech or when you draft a speech or when you compose a speech when you write down a speech certain things you must have in your mind in order to get your obtain full mark or six mark sorry it is a six mark question if we want to get at least because it is a descriptive not objective types of question descriptive types of question at least a five and a half if you write to very well with the good simple errorless english surely you are liable to get a five and a half score for the six marks prepare a speech on so in the textbook there do you remember any such famous speeches if so provide the following details one is who delivered the speech who aarana ningalode samsari who delivered the speech what was the occasion what what was the occasion of the speech he prasangam prasangikkuvan idayaya sandarbham enda then when was it delivered when was it delivered when was the speech delivered when was it who what when what was the purpose purpose what was the purpose of delivering the speech motivating the audience then who were the audience who were the audience and how the speech was presented how the speech was presented very important so when you prepare a draft of a speech my dear students you should have these ideas in your mind who delivered the speech prasangicha dara is it john f kennedy or is it martin luther king jr or is it mark antony then what was the occasion ഏത് അവസരത്തിലാണ് ഈ പ്രസംഗം അവതരിപ്പിച്ചത് ഡെലിവർ ചെയ്തത് വാട്ട് വാസ് ദക്കേഷൻ ദ സ്പീച്ച് വാസ് ഡെലിവേർഡ് ആൻഡ് വെൻ വാസ് ദ സ്പീച്ച് ഡെലിവേർഡ് വാട്ട് വാസ് ദി പർപ്പസ് സോ വാട്ട് വാസ് ദ ഇൻറ്റൻഷൻ ഓഫ് ഡെലിവറിങ് ദ സ്പീച്ച് ആൻഡ് ഹൂ ഡിഡ് ദ സ്പീച്ച് വാസ് ഡെലിവേർഡ് ടു ആ ഏത് ശ്രോതാക്കൾക്ക് വേണ്ടിയാണ് ആ പ്രസംഗം അവതരിപ്പിച്ചത് ആൻഡ് ഹൗ എങ്ങനെയാണ് പ്രസംഗം അവതരിപ്പിക്കപ്പെടുന്നത് സ്റ്റൈൽ ഓഫ് പ്രസൻറ്റ് ഓക്കെ സോ ദീസ് ആർ ദി ഡബ്ല്യു ഹെച്ച് ആൻഡ് ഹെച്ച് ഷുഡ് ബി ഇൻ യുവർ മൈൻഡ് വൈ യു പ്രിപ്പയർ ദ ഡ്രാഫ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് എ സ്പീച്ച് സോ I will just read what is given there in the textbook. Christine Lagarde suggests various means of empowering women. 
she persuasively insists on the idea that women should think and act independently keeping this in mind to prepare the script of a persuasive speech on the topic education is the key to women empowerment to be delivered at the school assembly on international women's day that is march 8th please students don't forget about this one international women's day that is march 8th okay so before that uh, let us go for for some other can speeches make an impact on human mind i have sent you the notes yesterday for writing down and to come and attend to that one so i go for just uh, explaining the answer of uh, can speeches make an impact on the human mind പ്രസംഗങ്ങൾ യഥാർത്ഥത്തിൽ മനുഷ്യ മനസ്സിൽ എന്തെങ്കിലും സ്വാധീനം ചെലുത്തുവാൻ സാധിക്കും ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ദ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ക്യാൻ സ്പീച്ചസ് മേക്ക് ആൻ ഇമ്പാക്ട് ആൻ ഇഫക്ട് ഓർ ചേഞ്ച് ഓൺ ദ ഹ്യൂമൻ മൈൻഡ് ലെറ്റ് സീ ദ ആൻസർ ഡെഫിനറ്റ്ലി സ്പീച്ചസ് ക്യാൻ മേക്ക് ഇമ്പാക്ട് ഓൺ ഹ്യൂമൻ മൈൻഡ് so speeches for example so many speakers or orators we have come across globally nationally and two examples in your textbook is given there definitely speeches can make impact on human mind great to men have influenced their people you see great to men like gandhi Jawaharlal Nehru okay and Napoleon Bonaparte John of Kennedy all these persons great to men have influenced their people they made their people be influenced with the powerful speeches they influenced their people with the powerful speeches the speech of Subhash Chandra Bose, Nethaji Subhash Chandra Bose. Actually, the title of his speech is Give me blood, I will give you freedom. Wonderful title, Nethaji Subhash Chandra Bose's speech. Give me blood, I will give you freedom. Ningal ningal da chore enikki tharu, nyan ningal ke swadhantriyam tharu. Give me blood, I will give you freedom. That means, people should be ready to die for attaining freedom influence the many people this speech give me plan i will give you freedom delivered by nehaji subhash chandra bose influence the many people and consequently as a result they joined the indian national army ina so they joined so, so many people after being motivated by listening to the speech of neda uh, subhash chandra bose titled give me blood and i will give you freedom they joined the indian national army then let us go to another world uh, great man winston church Winston Churchill influenced his countrymen that means his country people during the second world war 1939 and 45 so during the second world war with his persuasive speech blood toil tears and sweat so blood is a sacrifice toil toil means hard work tears kannirugal and sweat veerpp so each and every citizen of whatever the nation is they have to sacrifice their life they have to work hard for liberation or emancipation or freedom they have to cry undergo so many hardships and also they have to sweat work hard for attaining freedom that was on 30 on 13th may 
so when he was elected the prime minister of the whole cabinet told the cabinet so he told the cabinet politicians at that time when he was elected the prime minister i have nothing to offer but blood toil tears and sweat so he told his countrymen i have nothing to give you offer you but only my sacrifice hard work my tears my cries and my sweat to hard work then we are going to know about another great man john of kennedy president of america influenced the american youth and the youth all over the world with his famous inaugural address on 20th january 1961 john of kennedy said ask not what your country can do for you but ask what you can do for your country so that is a very important one നിങ്ങൾ ഒരിക്കലും ഏതെങ്കിലും ഒരു രാജ്യത്തിന്റെ പൗരനാണെങ്കിൽ രാജ്യം ഒരു പൗരനായി എനിക്ക് എന്തോ നൽകി എന്നതിനേക്കാളും ഞാനൊരു പൗരൻ എന്ന രീതിക്ക് എന്റെ രാജ്യത്തിന് ഞാൻ എന്ത് നൽകി but ask what you can do for your country so by really having these examples of the great men's speech we can substantiate to that speeches do influence us surely influence the people speeches do influence people so that is the first question can speeches make an impact on the human mind second one second question there on the page number 11 you can see why do we make speeches why do we make speeches why do we make speeches very important nammal endinana prasangikkunnathu nammal endinu prasangikkuvan thayara നമ്മൾ എന്തുകൊണ്ട് പ്രസംഗങ്ങൾ ഉണ്ടാക്കിയെടുക്കും actually they wanted to inculcate shrodavinte manasil samsarikkunna allengil oru prasangikante aashayangalum avante tattvangalum ideologies ideas aashayangalum ideologies tattvangalum oru shrodavinte manasil valarthi edukkunnathinu vendi നിക്ഷേപിക്കുന്നതിന് വേണ്ടിയിട്ടാണ് വി മേക്ക് സ്പീച്ച് ഇസോ ഫോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ തിങ്ക് അബൌട്ട് ഇഫ് യു വാണ്ട് ടു മോട്ടിവേറ്റ് ഓർ അവയർ ദ പീപ്പിൾ ഓഫ് ദി ഡെത്ലി ഡിസീസ് കോവിഡ് നയൻറ്റീൻ സോ വി ഹാവ് എ കം അക്രോസ് ദാറ്റ് ഈവൻ ദ പ്രൈം മിനിസ്റ്റർ ഓഫ് ഇന്ത്യ ആൻഡ് ഈവൻ ദ ചീഫ് മിനിസ്റ്റേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് സെവറൽ സ്റ്റേറ്റ്സ് ഓഫ് ഇന്ത്യ മേഡ് സോ മെനി സ്പീച്ചസ് ആൻഡ് പ്രസ് മീറ്റ് ഓൾസോ and press briefing also at particular times in order to inculcate uh, their ideas and ideologies in the minds of the uh, state people or country people we let others we are permitting others know what we think is right through our speeches so actually the speaker will be having many truth in his mind to make the countryman believe such truths and to regulate to tailor their life to suit the interest and laws of the states and the country so these are actually about the political leaders 
then let us come into the religious leaders religious leaders make the devotees devotees means people who believe strongly in a particular religion and the creeds of that religion follow their religion through their sermons okay actually follow their religion through their sermons through their speeches sermons means religious speeches that is why that word sermons used madaparamaya prasangangale and sermons we say so political leaders constantly constantly means continuously political leaders constantly continuously edakku nittadene oro divasam thudarchiyai ingane make speeches they deliver speeches to retain to get back retain means thirichu pidikkuvan their followers that means each party's followers and to prove that they wanted to substantiate to that prove that thirichuvan their policies political leaders wanted to prove their policies and programs paripadigal are the best so are considered to be the best we ought we have the responsibility to master the art we have to be efficient master the art of public speaking you see my dear students yentana podu prasanna so public speaking or public speaking is an art that is a very important so speech is an art speech is an art prasangam or kalaya and the speaker very good speaker is an artist okay that is the best we ought to master the art of public speaking so if you want to be a great orator or speaker you must master you should be an expert in the art of public speaking to be a successful in public we should be very successful in public then let us see what is uh, oratorial so oratorial skills or oratorial oratorial don't forget to this word my dear students oratorial means uh, the speak, speak speakers who are expert in the art of public speaking prasangika that is what oratorial speaking skills oratorial here used the sir adjective oratorial skills a samsarikkuvanulla a kalivugal are essential for leaders or nedavane sambandhichathodum samsarikkuvanulla sheshiyum kalivugalum valare pradhana pettana to make an impact they if they wanted to motivate the people to impact on people words often speak louder than actions very important so in particular occasions words will speak better than actions okay so words will speak often more times better than actions so, so that is actually the answer of the second question now we are going for the third question that is uh, the last i read after this uh, wh or h indications or uh, things we have to keep in our mind my dear students next i am going to read a question 3 christine lagarde suggests various means of empowering women actually her speech to us especially there we can see who delivered the speech Christine Lagarde delivered the speech. So what was the occasion? So while she was speaking, in order to motivate the people, when we came to understand when she was delivering that public speech, and what was the purpose? 
to give awareness to empower the women and who she was speaking to almost all the women category of people and how she very persuasively and emotionally and dramatically delivered the speech that is what here we are coming to do so let us see a speech should have an address here you are given that is all christine lagarde suggests various means of empowering women she persuasively motivationally insists uh, is uh, giving more restrictions on the idea that women should think and act independently keeping this in mind prepare the script of a persuasive speech inspiring speech on the topic think about the topic education is the key to women in power we have come across that she has suggested three elements for the empowerment of women learning labor leadership we have studied in the speech three elements is key to women empowerment but she is here only taking one el that is learning or education so she suggested in her speech three elements learning labor and leadership but here you have to prepare a speech based on the topic only one el that is education or learning education is the key very important to women empowerment to be delivered what was the occasion to to be delivered and so the place where at the school assembly on which day when on international women's day don't forget march 8 is considered it to be the international women's day now let us go for how to compose this speech how to draft this speech so speech will be it is remember that it is a school assembly so your principals teachers and your students okay your students will be there so first we will start respect the principal teachers and my dear students i come it is quite obvious what is the meaning obvious obvious means clear obvious very important to one my dear students try to get to more knowledge and the meaning of the words obvious means clear obvious clear obvious means clear mostly understood it is quiet quiet means uh, quiet has uh, two words there try to understand don't confuse q u i e t q u i t be quiet here quiet q u i e t means silent but q u i t is completely that is the difference between quiet and quiet so pronunciation is same but there is a difference in the meaning quiet and quiet so it is quite clear means completely clear that march 18 is observed as international women's day march 8 is observed as international not national women's day it is an international women's day to ensure what is the meaning ensure to make sure that women have an equal share of course women are also having equal share as that of men in the developmental activities social development economical development educational developments religious and cultural and socio political developments we analyze there are several spheres of uh, developmental activities so women women have equal equal share as that of men women are still considered a second class citizens in many parts of the world so it is pathetic it is disappointing that men are the first category of citizens 
and if women are considered as the second category of a citizen so that should be avoided that shows a discrimination no racial or a gender equality gender inequality prevails that that is why women are still considered second class citizens in many parts of the world india is one of the countries you see there are so many countries but india is one among those countries where women suffer most women are suffering very to the maximum because of discrimination what is discrimination discrimination that means gender discrimination educational discrimination that uh, women are not supposed to have education as men have so women still undergo what is the meaning undergo experience undergo here means experience and the so women still in you know, still means till today still undergo experience the social evils so let us see what are the social evils experienced by women dowry system so we have come across recently in the television news and what do we newspaper news that means visual media social media and print media there are so many atrocities meted towards the women on basis of a dowry system and female feticide you see oru kalyanam kadicha stree bhariyayittu oru kunnine ഉദരത്തിൽ വഹിക്കുമ്പോൾ ആ പെൺകുട്ടി ആ കുട്ടി ഒരു പെൺകുട്ടിയാണ് ഉദരത്തിൽ എന്ന് മനസ്സിലാക്കി കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ അബോർട്ട് ചെയ്ത ആ കുട്ടിയെ ഇല്ലാതാക്കാം ബിക്കോസ് ദേ ഡു നോട്ട് വാണ്ട് ഫീമെയിൽ പെൺകുട്ടികൾക്ക് ജന്മം കൊടുക്കേണ്ട അതൊരു ശാപമാണെന്ന് വിചാരിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് ഗർഭാശയത്തിൽ വെച്ച് തന്നെ കുട്ടിയെ ശാസ്ത്രീയമായ രീതിയിൽ ഗർഭാശയത്തിൽ വെച്ച് തന്നെ കൊല്ലുന്ന പ്രക്രിയയാണ് ഫെറ്റിസായി ഫീമെയിൽ ഫെറ്റിസൈഡ് പെൺകുട്ടികളാണ് ഉദരത്തിൽ വളരുന്നു ഒരുവാകുന്നു എന്ന് മനസ്സിലാക്കി കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ആ കുട്ടികൾ ഫെറ്റിസൈഡ് ആ ഉദരത്തിൽ വെച്ച് എന്ന് കൊല്ലുന്ന പ്രക്രിയ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ഓൾസോ ഈവൻ ദെൻ ഇൻഇക്വാലിറ്റി ദർ ഈസ് നോ ഇക്വാലിറ്റി അസ് ടു മെൻ സോ ദീസ് ആർ ദ സോഷ്യൽ ഈവൽസ് ഡൗറി സിസ്റ്റം that is why our governor arikan is just has taken and one day fast was conducted and he is trying to motivate and aware the university students that in your life please don't accept any kind of dowry so that we have come across now this system he will sir have the present relevance also so the social even the women experience the social evils like dowry system female infanticide and inequality that is all so feticide and uh, i will be just to do a one exclamation one one explanation about the feticide feticide and the pesticide also we know please try to understand the origin of this word pesticide i take this side c i d actually this word has come from latin language c there i will say c there c there c i d e r e c there in latin language c there means to kill so that c there has come or adapted to c in english language as to kill okay so try to understand how this feticide and pesticide feticide fetus fetus science students know so biology students will know about what is feticide so feticide is the origin of a life or a, or a baby in the womb garfashayathil oru sthreeda garfashayathil valarna jeevante thudippana fetus fetus 
fetus. So to kill feticide, to kill the fetus in the womb of the mother, Garpachetra Bhattachara Ammaida, Garpachetra Bhattachara Kunjana Kodunna, and a feticide. See there, that is the word originated from a Latin language, to kill, from that came feticide, to kill the fetus. And pesticide, Kiranashinigal, pesticide, Kiranale, Krishi Salat, Kiranale Kodunayana, pesticide. From that we have come across matricide, mother killing, patricide, father killing, and fratricide, brother killing. Okay, so that is what I am trying to know about this kind of a scene there. So these are the social evils uh, experienced by women. Then the second paragraph. So you are drafting a speech uh, to be delivered in the school assembly on International Women's Day. That is March 8th. The first paragraph is over. So when you draft a speech, at least four or five paragraphs should be there in your answer, which will also fetch you so many scores. The life of an Indian woman. Generally speaking, is a series of slaveries. So, Indian women are some of the children of our children. The Madakian uncle, other would need a little of a dimethyl in the wood. I think that would be a series of slaveries. Slaveries means having a life of bondage. She is a submissive to her father. That is a very important. Actually, women will have to be submissive to her parents, okay, till her uh, adolescent period. Until then, she is married. So, when she is married, she is submissive to her husband. And when her husband dies, she is submissive to her children with the whom she chooses to say. That is a very important. So, Nastri Swadandriya Markhidi in Sanskrit language. Nastri Swadandriya Markhidi. One of three is someone that told them really. Our Vastavatra Vodikilam Swadandriya Tane Arkelam. Tante Jeeva the Chirpa Adamelam parents in the control in the Andranathilam. Vivaga Shesham Patav in the Yandranatilum Patav in the Maranas Tinishes on the Makaluda the Yandranatilanda, would I am what I was sick one in the Shikan, Amakula the Yandranatilamana would straight at his wife in the second paragraph. The life of an Indian woman, generally speaking, Poduai, some side to the Anangal, is a series of slavers, Matulavar Ker, Matulavar the Yandranatil, Matulavar de Raitula, Adigar Tilum, Adabola the Ne. That is why it is called a series of slaveries. So she is a submissive to her father or parents until she is married. And when she is married, she is submissive to her husband. And when her husband dies, she is submissive to her children with whom she chooses to stay. It is usual that Husbands sir, die before their wives sir, because they marry women younger to them. That is a very important one. Namade Indian samskara manasaricha. A Shakespeare, Shakespeare in the Palanata Kangalan Madhya Paramitunda. What a pen could be Vivahan Chayanada? How the wives in a kalam ancho aro yed or a little patu wives in a mudurna or an in a kimadekam? Why it is? Yantukundanum would is three. Tanna Kalam Prayatul Muturna would be put in a snake. Kalyanam Kalikimada. Shakespeare than a parent to her. He wanted a Murtula Maya. Young Naitula girls, the young girls will be emotionally be very receptive to accept that. Whole emotions of a man. One day, 
ലോലമായ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് വാട്ട് യു മസ്റ്റ് ട്രൈ ടു അണ്ടർസ് വളരെ ലോലമായ ഒരു പെൺകുട്ടിക്ക് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ വളരെ പ്രായത്തിൽ ചെറുതായ ഒരു പെൺകുട്ടിക്ക് മാത്രമേ ഒരു പുരുഷന്റെ വൈകാരിക തലങ്ങളെ വളരെ നല്ല രീതിക്ക് കൈക്കൊള്ളുവാൻ സാധിക്കത്തുള്ളൂ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് വൈ വി ആർ ഓൾമോസ്റ്റ് ഇൻ ഇന്ത്യൻ കൾച്ചർ ഓൾ യങ്ങർ വിമൻ ഓൾമോസ്റ്റ് ഓൾ ദേർ ബിലോങ് ടു മാരി എ മാൻ ഹൂ ഈസ് elder than these women that is what so you see here in generally speaking it is usual that the husbands die before their wives because they marry women younger to them so the age of marriage between men and women is that women will be younger than men this situation has to be changed that is why this situation should be changed by adopting the three l's learning first l is learning learning helps women know about their rights avada avakashangal endu manasilakkuvan vidyabhyasam oru striya sanjamaku orukkunu so learning helps women know about to their rights and duties avaru uttaravadithwangal avarude avakashangal so learning or education gives a very important chance or opportunity for understanding their rights avakashangalum uttaravadithu then labor second then labor gives women the economic power financial power to assert themselves to be very strong by themselves women sans please try to understand another sans yes a n s sans sans means without so sans here means without without sans here without do you see when a man or a woman attains the age of 85 or 90 they are or their face or mouth is sans teeth sans eyesight without eye power seeing power without sans teeth without teeth so labor so i am talking labor gives women the economy power to assert themselves women sans income without the income without the money have to depend on their parents husbands or children that is our parents in the early childhood or childhood and the husbands after the marriage and the children after the death of their husband then the third year leadership makes women powerful we have come across indira gandhi the first woman prime minister of india margaret thatcher so they are powerful women women make better ladies so women make better leaders by making decisions based on consensus building agreement building and including almost all the categories of the country and compassion will be there considering and the sustainability will be there it will be lasting for a long time all these things for example when we were going through there actually what do we call it is uh, the speech three years of women empowerment by come to and what are the advantages of women being posted in the realms or spheres of leadership so the answer is given here in the speech also women make better understanding so their decisions will be based on a consensus building okay so their decisions will be based on a consensus building and including almost inclusion sympathy and sustainability sympathy and sustainability 
so it will last for a long time please try to understand this kind of things so this can be what are the advantages or positive qualities based on if women are posted in a leadership realms so decisions will be based on consensus building inclusion sympathy and also what do we call it as a sustainability lasting for a long time lasting for a long time so women sometimes lack the call next paragraph we are going for the speech which should be delivered on international women's day on march 8th in a school or something so women sometimes lack their confidence to match their competence so they lack confidence to match their competence so they have a change so they have to change that mindset palapol very important one listen very carefully jeevanathil thanne palapolum streegalkku ആത്മവിശ്വാസം പല രംഗങ്ങളിൽ നഷ്ടപ്പെടാറുണ്ട് ഇപ്പോൾ ഒരു പ്ലേസ് ട്രൈ ടു കമാൻഡ് ഒരു പ്ലേ ട്രൈ ടു ഫ്രൈ എ നെയറോ പ്ലേ ഇറ്റ് മൈ നോട്ട് ബി സംതിങ്സ് വെരി ഗുഡ് ഫോർ ദാറ്റ് സോ ദേ സേ ദാറ്റ് ഐ കാൻ നോട്ട് പ്ലീസ് ട്രൈ ടു ബി എ കൗൺസിലർ യു ആർ വാർഡ് കൗൺസിലർ പ്ലീസ് ട്രൈ ടു കണ്ടസ്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് എലക്ഷൻ ഒരു ഇലക്ഷനിൽ മത്സരിക്കൂ നമുക്കൊരു സ്ഥാനാർത്ഥിയായിട്ട് തരും no 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 so they lack they lack a confidence to match their competence that mindset should be avoided that mindset should be stopped they should be ready to dare the difference that is what the christine lehard in her speech is trying dare the difference and finally the difference will deliver it. dare the difference and finally the difference will deliver you very exactly important to think so they should be ready to dare the difference what is the meaning of dare the difference to take risk chila parishramangal pila parishramangal jeevithathil sthreegal edukkenda thayittu varum chila kadina pradhignagal adinoda anubandhichulla chila challenges velluvilika jeevithathil edukkenda that is why they are the difference to take up the risk and finally the difference will deliver in chant everything especially this is in the case of women to take a risk so they have to take a risk very important they have to take a risk what is taking risk chilla pratijnagalum kadina adhwanangalum take a risk and step outside their comfort zones christine lagarde in her speech three elements of women empowerment he is addressing all the women globally to come out of their comfort zones ellavaru nammada manasiga surakshita avasthayil irikkuvan aagrahikkunnu we want to be safe in the four walls of our house we means especially the women category of population the women category of population wanted to be safe especially in the seclusion of their minds or in the four walls or in the four walls of their house okay that is what here indira gandhi try to understand indira gandhi the first woman prime minister of india and kalpana chawla astronaut the kalpana chawla is an astronaut actually they dared the difference they took risk they came out of their comfort zones and finally their difference delivered them so in the beginning while we were analyzing the picture collage of kalpana chawla helen bowlton and uh, harry potter so serious jk rowling and uh, mary com the wrestler or boxer actually we have come across these women they are dared the difference in their life they took risk in their life and they stepped out of their comfort zones 
അത് ഫൈനലി യൂണിവേഴ്സലി ഓർ ഗ്ലോബലി അക്ലൈംഡ് വിമൻ So Gandhi and Kalpana Chawla came out of their comfort zones. And that is why we respect these women. And remember these women after their death. And they are coming in the textbooks. And we study them also. Almost every day the prosperity. The future generation remember them and study them. and the last paragraph of the speech let us see conclusively conclusively means as a conclusion of my speech conclusively i ask the girls assembled over here assembled in the school assembly to take control of your life please try to have a control of your own life don't ask other factors to control your life even if parents control your life during your childhood and adulthood even if your husbands control you after your marriage or even if your children control you after your husbands die please try to have your own point of thinking your own perspectives of life your own potentials and your own capabilities and skills that is why so conclusively the speaker is asking the girls assembled over here to take control of your life okay but during adulthood and childhood it is not possible because parents will have to take control of your life so you have a lot to gain remember that during your life you have to attain ningalk jeevithathil ottiri karyangalum സാധുപോലെ തന്നെ ഒത്തിരി ചിന്തകൾ നേടുവാനായിട്ടുണ്ട് സോ ആൻഡ് ലൂസ് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ജീവിതത്തിൽ ഒരുപാട് നേടുവാനുണ്ട് യു ഹാവ് എ ലോട്ട് ടു ഗെയിൻ ആൻഡ് ടു ലൂസ് അസ് എ പേഴ്സണാലിറ്റി യു കെയും വിത്ത് നത്തിങ് and you will go after യുവർ ഡെർത്ത് വിത്ത് നത്തിങ് ആൻഡ് നത്തിങ് ടു ലൂസ് മൈ ട്രൈൻ ടു ബി കോംപ്ലീറ്റ് if you are trying to be very competent nothing is there to lose but whatever you get is your gain whatever you get is your gain you have nothing to lose while trying to be competent i wish you success in your endeavors endeavors means taking challenges in life so i am wishing a success in your endeavors means taking up risk and uh, and daring the difference and uh, coming out of your comfort zones uh, i wish you success in your endeavors hard uh, uh, trials in your life so with that we come to the end of the speech of this one and uh, the text book uh, is uh, coming with that one let us see when we come to that one prepare a draft a speech draft a speech with that one that is the last one and tips given on the text to purpose of the speech motivating and awareing the women section type of audience address the women okay and structure logical clear all these are the tips you should keep in your mind okay that is all logical speech should be logical reasoning power should be there and it should be clear to the audience to understand and how systematically arranging the idea sequencing of idea systematic arrangement of the ideas then contents okay so content is very important oru oru prasangathinte pradhanapetta ulladakkam content that should be very important yes speech should have a message okay your speech should have a message without a message a speech is not uh, complete and the facts should be there statistics uh, for data how many population and how many uh, of the percentage of the whole population women constitute and how many percentage of the women are educated and how many percentage of the women are employed and unemployed how many of them are undergoing old age how many of them are uh, you 
Gupta and how many of them are undergoing child. These are statistics, statistics. Then persuasive techniques. What is a persuasive? While you deliver a speech, you must have persuasive techniques like using your body language, facial expressions and gesticulations. All these things are very important to one. Understand that? That is what we call it as persuasive techniques. Then repetition, satire, appropriate use of language for delivering a speech, rhetorical devices like uh, uh, using a poem or lines of the uh, poem or some songs uh, or famous quotations. Uh, that is a use of stress. Yes, you come here and stop it. We will come over there. These are the stress of the language. A rhythm. That is what we call it as rhythm of the speech. And the intonation. High, low pitch. When you come, I say that you will succeed in your life. And that is the harmonious living all over the world. This is what we call it as intonation. And Tone, whether it may be happy tone or a melancholy tone, then a formal and informal style of delivery. So these should, these points should also be included in your speech, and you are liable to get at least six scores out of six. So to the maximum five point five scores, you will be getting. So I hope that you will be going. Please, uh, my classroom teaching video is there. And uh, all the notes I have given you systematically write down. And in the next class, we will be going with the poem Any Woman by uh, Catherine China. Please, till that time, please work out with what are the things I got for uh, second year uh, uh, English and today you will be having examination from 3 to 4 uh, based on after the poem if uh, and in next class I will be concentrating on the grammar portion condition clause if thank you very much we will meet again